YouTubers. I'm War and Peace 3K. Um, I'm, I'm very excited to bring you uh, my gameplay in Total War 3 Kingdom, uh, which is a very exciting game uh, because of the mechanics and the dynamics of the political uh, characters building, economy, uh, technology trees, uh, and also in a gameplay and also in, in the battlefield. So, um, I'm very much excited. Uh, to bring you and to share with you my gameplay um, feel free to leave a comment and also uh, if you like my channel uh, please give me uh, your support by subscribing to my channel I will keep uh, new videos uh, every week coming in um, but first we will play as a faction of Liu Bei um, this will be the beginning uh, the journey the, the beginning of the journey for Liu Bei check Hello everyone, let's start our journey as uh, Liu Bei. Uh, our current setting will be overall in medium and unit sizes in ultra. So let's put it in high so that we will have more good graphics. Okay, we are set. Um, okay, let's have Liu Bei as a playable Humanity faction. Keeps one on us. Let's put both Liu campaign Bei and difficulty level chaos in the face as legendary. Of war, and let's... will not rest until the tyrant's corruption is uprooted. Let's Embers start. Embers rise, stark against the night. The tyrant Dong Zhuo. China is in turmoil. The great empire of the Han, stretching back ages beyond counting, is being devoured by corruption. The yellow turbans. So this is what happened to every dynasty, almost every dynasty in, in China. Um, <coughs> they the fall because of corruption. Generals loyal to the emperor rose so up basically, and put down the rebellion. That's what's going to happen to any empires, right? Even for the Roman empires, uh, but most yet despite the victory, most of the, the reason why Roman Empire grew, fall is because of the barbaric with the attack and the yep, a division the empire, internally. The loyal generals storm the imperial palace. And kill the ten eunuchs. So actually, the um, this bills. is the period in the uh, madness. Right, the warlord is still in the, within the, the Han Dynasty. Uh, the Han Dynasty is from side, uh, 206 BC him. until 220 AD, and then it's preceded by in the Qin Dynasty from 221 to 206 BC. Treason and succeeded by Three Kingdom period from 220 to 288. So, led by the charismatic Yuan the span of four centuries, the, uh, the Han period is considered the golden the age in Chinese history. So Dong that's Zhuo why this uh, game is to his um, more Chang exciting. An. Because uh, this is where capital, all the heroes, the all the legendary character, all the legendary strategies uh, it is now the year live and, and the coalition leave has their all strong but... stories for us. So, let's start. Um, the town Luo that you Yang see burning now is a Luoyang. And this tyranny is barbaric. because of the pressure the from people? other warlords, Dongzhou has removed has the capital fled west to Chang'an uh, with to the, the young west, Emperor Xian his captive. Chang'an. So, this is going to be our first challenge as uh, Liu Bei. Um, we need to make uh, our way past the yellow turbans, find a power base to build your strength, to protect Kongrong and Taochan. So, that is our main priority. Engage the following general's army in battle, Zhao Bao. So we will have a taste of victory with 30 military supplies and plus 5 moral faction wide. So without further ado, let's strike them. 
so we have 1683 men against not more than 1000 peasants so basically who is this yellow turbans people so uh in the late period of the Han Dynasty, right, there was the a huge drought. Warlords and brutal no rain falls during that period, I weep for and uh, the crop but only uh, we can provide is not the that much. That the people, people are starving, uh, while we must restore the, the Han Dynasty to its uh, rightful officer, place. If we are know, ever to know uh, unity, put pressure on the people by uh, burdening them with uh, high taxes, and that cause the rebellion basically so basically whenever we find a yellow turban rebellion army it should uh, consist of a farmer who pick up an arms and resist the Han dynasty however Liu Bei actually Liu Bei is a very interesting character he is a descendant of a Han emperor And his principle is to uphold or to maintain um, Han Dynasty at any cost. So his successor will be Liu Shan. Uh, he was born in. 161 in Zuo country uh, and died uh, 10 June 223 at the age of 62 so let's begin the battle and make sure that uh, Liu Bei uh, can live until the age of 62 and also be able to establish uh, a strong foothold uh, in this gameplay so we will take a look on the enemy's army so the general is Zhao Bao uh, they have uh, 160 peasant two peasant warriors peasant spearmen and also archers so we will send our general here to fight them let's kill the, their head first and send everyone send both of our cavalry to each one of their flanks so we must make sure that our cavalry will not sustain uh, huge casualties your best so is not the good enough guys will i will crush you for this converge in the middle let's have all our men converge in the middle now now is the time for for our attack so let's kill all of them oh my goodness see the charge look at that look at those banners uh yes they are running so let's Slay their leader. Must make sure that the rebellion must be put to rest as soon as possible. So let's not get ready. Uh, watch to ceasefire. The battle where you are. Uh, Is that your best? Friendly fire here. Come on, try harder. Let's take them all up in one go. Look, the enemy run! Craven! Kill them! The time has come! Yeah, just need Return. to kill him. Why did you rebel? Zhao Bao. Oh! He is dead. He is dead. 
claim victory now. Yes, this is victory for us. Our first victory, first days of victory. Let's claim it. Decisive victory. So our next plan is to find a foothold. Um, there is always a few options uh, for us, but we would like to follow uh, the storyline and we will do things a bit differently from uh, from what uh, Three Kingdom drama in 2000 has. <clears throat> So Zhang Fei uh, slayed 73 peasants, Guan Yu 41, uh, both of our cavalry uh, slayed more than 300 people, which is good, uh, that this numbering system is the unit level, so the higher the number, the higher the level, the more experience the guy um, let's have ransom and release them forgiveness no Marching. yes yes but you begat we will give them freedom so let's Swift go to courage. dong to set our football and we will delegate this battle justice has shown us the way yes we have 150 coins uh, let's occupy it this will prosper for the better support of the people uh, okay so we have completed uh, with a relic uh, okay growing might so we'll have plus 50 bonus experience for unit per season plus 10 replacement okay yeah. all right so let's take a look Liu Bei has let us discuss things gained learned. some experience and let's see plus five faction support okay so he as a faction leader we will have to equip him with the faction more to towards a faction wide uh, effect um, let's give him trade Let's equip him with Trade Advisor. Okay, so basically, basically, so let's point to the True North first. This is Dongzhou. This is a Yellow Turban Base. This is Tao Chan. And somewhere here is our friend Kong Rong. So what we will do is that we are going to capture Langye. Uh, the walls of Langye is quite uh, big, so we need to recruit more men. But currently we cannot recruit anything, so let's meet up with Tao Chen. Good to see you. Okay, we will have trade, which is good. Uh, and let's have uh, some ancillaries been traded to him. Wow, he have war axe, military axe. No worries. And we will request for some payment. Let's see if we can go for 500. All right, this is good. A reasonable offer. Okay. So after this turn, we will be able to recruit men. I believe. After yep. travel, currently we cannot. That's in our turn now. I believe that uh, Kong Rong should be positioned somewhere uh, east to us. Right, the recruitment is open. So what we have now is 
mostly spears um, we would like to have more swords here and how about having this spearmen they okay one let's have one of them and let's recruit more swordsmen So Kongrong, Kongrong, he is a strategist, a legendary strategist during this period, uh, quite a bright guy. So our mission is to protect both of them, Tao Chan to our west and Kongrong to our east. Alright, we have Grow Might. Okay, let's... Let's see on our recruitment. Yep, we are still recruiting people. So once this is completed, and we can start uh, marching towards Langya. What do you wish? We do not wish anything but uh, non-aggression pack from you. Can we have some? Oh, we do not have food. All right. Agreeable terms. Yep, we must be very good with Kongrong. So it is winter now, and once the turn is finished, there comes uh, spring. Alright, so we will have our first technology research. So in order for us to establish our economy, right, uh, we should have tax, 15% income from peasantry first. Let's focus on that and we will march until here. Okay, let's finish the turn. To avoid unnecessary conflict. Yes. Considered offers produce effortless packs. We will need a lot of money uh, to build strong base. So after one more, let's annex this. I return from my journey under one banner. So we managed to annex the city uh, by using our unity. Uh, this only for I believe it's only for Liu Bei. I'm not sure on other. Characters. So currently the food is minus two, so we need to demolish some of the building. Um, yep, let's demolish this one and build uh, government support uh, infrastructure. So can we have a Welcome. trade agreement with them? Not yet. Okay. We will need to research on that for an additional of a trade route. We would not be your enemy. Yes, except your wisdom reveals a kindred spirit. No worry, Tao Chan. Our duty here is to protect both you and Kong Rong. Seek opportunities and act upon them. So we will have land development for our food. I return from my journey. So how is this thing works? So first thing first, uh, for a town, the food is very important. So if the food is low, the public order will also decrease, and the abundance of food will determine the reserve how is this reserve come into into consideration is that when uh, during the rep rep replenishment of your men and also uh, how you can how long you can withstand a siege battle so 
let's click next all right there is strength in meekness so one more turn for us to construct this while we are waiting let's take several towns for example taishan here to make sure that uh, we can secure our border so Han Empire let's negotiate we, must. we cannot negotiate peace with them so let's I wanted to attack them but however however they might just turn around this hill and attack us there so let's wait for a while they might be handy also because they will attack Kongrong and if they captured any of the Kongrong settlements then we can take it from them Yao Chan so the plot has begun with our minister Wang Yu trying to you know insert a uh, wedge between Let Dongzhou and uh, Lubu. Let's finish the turn first. <clears throat> so basically, we need to establish around Taishan and also capturing Dong so that we can have more income. Fortune favors the vigilant. Three more turns. I wonder where that uh, Han army goes. Okay, so by researching this, we will have one available trade agreement, so which is very very much needed now because we need to establish ro uh, trade route with Kongrong here. Alright, I think we may have trade agreement with Kong Yes, so it will give us 322 income, resource available is fish, cattle and what is that? Bamboo? Oh, lumber. So, uh, when you propose a deal, please make sure that you are in green and when you have surpluses here, okay, you can request money from them. So let's see how much money we can squeeze from Kongrong. Kongrong Dongrong. So let's have nine zero here. Let's see. Ah, okay. That's minus five. Yes, it's a balanced deal. Let's propose a it. Reasonable he accept. Offer. A reasonable offer. So now we have more money into our coffers Restore and income from every turn has increased. I return and on my journey. Before we march out, uh, there we is need strength to make sure that meekness. we left. You have Gwenya's pole arm, my lord. Ample garrison to protect the city. After travel, contemplation is required. Because the Han army might do a sneak attack. We want to capture Taishan, Dong, and Pengcheng here. Let's wait for another turn. I have a request for you. Okay. They need some ancillaries. Let's accept it. Your wisdom reveals a kindred spirit. Yes, yes, yes. We will give you anything that you want as long as we are in a good term with you. So that's how you can build the trust and character relationship. Um, yep, now we have become beloved lord. 
Uh, the reason why I'm still pending is that because currently our military supply is not that much. So this is one of the critical things in uh, Empire, uh, not Empire Total War, Ki Three Kingdom Total War. Because when you march your army out, uh, you must make sure that you have enough food supplies for your military campaign. If not, then during the mid, in the middle of uh, battle or in the middle of the way. Uh, when you wanted to attack this city, which actually costs around four or five turns to reach, um, your supply will diminish, and your ranks, your people will start uh, deserting your army. So we will not want that. So let's keep our supply first. So Dong, do can we increase Dong? Yup. Having this will add more three three hundred more on, on our income. <coughs> okay, I see yellow turbans there. Consider our proposal. Yep. Your wisdom reveals a kindred. Thank you for your military access. Uh, we need to protect Dong. Fire burns. Okay. Dongzo has been slain. After travel, contemplation is required. So currently we can only fill one army. Fortune favors so that the is the problem. We cannot split our Let army. Us discuss things learned. So let's have a force march. And protect Dong. I return from my journey. So upgrading this will give us three foot. Um, oh, they are camping here, trying to recruit people into their cause. Interesting. Okay, they are attacking us, which is very good. We might just delegate this man. Okay, find I some English. Because I am noble lord, I don't kill peasants. So Guan Yu satisfied with us and relation deepened between Liu Bei and Guan Yu. So let's keep an eye on that uh, Hans army. Okay, during the winter, we do not want to put our men in hostile territory because this will have a huge impact on our military supplies. So let's finish the turn. We might have chance to take Beihai too. So let's move our men here. So Taishan is ready for the taking. And if we could have one, two, three, this is where the trading port lies. Uh, it could be very, very advantageous for us. So basically, the next thing that we need to have is that we must have income. Let's finish the turn. So in Total War Three Kingdom, uh, I read a lot of uh, comments. You know, uh, they say that it is quite hard to to generate income. In the game gameplay, so I will share you on how I do it. So let's take uh, let's take with behind first. Yeah. Okay, this is what I wanted. I need to destroy this army too. 
So let's start a battle. So once we take Beihai, we will take the Taishan trading port, Come. and then we will take Let Taishan. Let us multiply city. our fortunes. Uh, with that three uh, settlement, this war taken, will be won by our combined We can establish strength. our power base uh, in this area because within a few turns, I believe that uh, historically, uh, we have come this far. We cannot Chao fail Song, here. Chao Chao's father um, is traveling now we to fight meet Chao Chao Let it within be quick. the Tao Chan's uh, commandery. However, once of the Tao Chan uh, generals, uh, which is uh, ex Yellow Turban's rebel, uh, killed Chao Song because uh, Chao Song did carry a lot of money with him. So. Chao Chao's father was killed uh, by one of the Tao Chan subordinate and as you know that Chao Chao is a very smart and very tricky person so he uses that he uses that reason uh, to avenge his father to attack Tao Chan so that is when we will kick in and defend Tao Chan uh, defeating Chao Chao's army. So now let's finish off the yellow turbans. So the reinforcement will come from here. So basically, I will go for the reinforcement first. So we'll attack them from multiple sides so that they will not be able to run. Mort! Enemy reinforcements are arriving! The time has come! Right hand! The time has come! The battle! Threat! Sword at the ready! Team warriors, attend! Fight! Spearman, attend! Keep all arms, stand ready. Ready. Do not relent. You will lose and be forgotten. Do not waste your breath. You will need it. Send Liu Bei to deal with the general. Arrows! So, yep, yeah, let's concentrate our arrow here. So let's hope that uh, those defenders do not come and hit. Yeah, let's kill them first. The time has come! Deal yourselves! Try! Let's kill them. Don't let them run. Let's kill everyone last of all. Okay, we can attack them from the back here. Manage to settle this. Cavalry to attention! Kill them! Bat already! You seem to be struggling. Need some help? I dearly hope your blade is sharper than your wit. At the ready! Feel the earth's power! Get that. The enemy unit, please! Watch, cowards! The 
enemy general has fallen. They were no match. Come on, Zangfi. Let's have a huge swing on the enemy general. This is Wang Shao, the head of the snake. Alright, alright. Come on, I'm going to use this uh, sundering. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, what a shame. Oh, you That's, have improved that is a very beautiful kill. Scored a big victory here. So let's have everyone attack the city now. Just like that! Just like that. See the dead body. <laughs> I mean the graphic is very very nice. The realistic uh, horror. A real horror of the battlefield. Keep it up! That's right! So let's wait for our I'm army ready. to rest a bit. Uh, let's put our archer to the front. Watch quickly! Ready! Go, go! Stand uh, ready! Horses, stand ready! Let's put our horse behind. Excellent! Alright. So let's march slowly. Stand ready. Attack. So let's fast forward a bit. So Guan Yu is quite fast, you know. Yeah, this is a horse race. Guan Yu, he's. Uh, I I don't think that he possesses red hair yet. Red hair is for is with Lubu right now, and Lubu is still alive. And historically, that uh, red hair has been given to Guan Yu. Feel the warriors by oh, look at that charge. We managed to score victory just like that. Just like that. So Huang Shao has been slain, both of the... And now we will have a Yellow Turban Rebellion, uh, one of their leaders. Uh, Huang Shao, He Yi, and I cannot recall um, the other one, but there is a three main leader of a yellow turban rebellion so we managed to kill one and that should uh, give I, I hope that killing one of the rebellion hates right will give us uh, bonuses on diplomacy Truth for us other faction I 
got a book. I got a book. It's occupied. To occupy this place, a great clarity washes over me. Nice. Whole tree settlement. Yep, my unity grows. All right. Land to control. Our economy will also grow. Purge chaos. Okay, let's build the. Uh... Why can't we have a full land development here? Oh, that's my cat. <laughs> Let us discuss things learned. So let's see, Liu Bei have have uh, one more trade, one available assignment. Yep, we will need assignment. Uh, I will explain later why. What is the excitement? Uh, yep. Alright, we will have one more. So he is. Yep, Zhang Fei needs more cunning. So we managed to increase his cunning. And I will give him. Books to read. And Guan Yu will also have some books to read, which will give him satisfaction and trade influence. with this one and we have no more advisory left After travel, so let's contemplation see is required. you can sort this so Wang Lang Dong Min Huang Shao and yep not today not today one is dead and one I return from my journey. so because Huang Shao is a legendary character it's not easy for us, us to no more. kill them. Ungrateful we will kill him one more time, sighted. and he will surely die. Be died. So now he will come back after one turn. So see, Kong Rong is dashing, rushing to capture this spot. My unity grows, Dong Hai, small cities. Let's eat Tao Chang. Okay. So once we finish with this, For justice. we can help Tao Chang. No fury. So let's delegate this one. Righteousness guides are our. Wow, there's a huge amount of money that we can get. Uh, we will peacefully we must occupy lay it. If we are to rebuild. So, yep, Huang Shao has been slain now. Uh, his son, Pei Yuan Chao, will be, will be his successor. There is strength this in is a good start for Let us. Let us discuss things learned. And we will need to increase. Let's have conscription camp here. After travel, contemplation is required. Law must rule. Okay, so now uh, the conflict between Chao Chao and Tao Chan has started. Uh, we have. This seems nice. Increasing. And we have assignments. So let's raise an army here. cannot raise an army yet so let's assign him uh, so this is the assignment each character have their own specialty and expertise so for example like this sentinel Jian Yong uh, he have construction industrial and industrial exploration and inspection so what we wanted to do is that uh, we want to gain 30% income from industry uh, which is very good we still do not have any industrial building yet 
but we will have it soon so let's upgrade this port we will have plus 10 reserve capacity here okay be high yep let's move to the next take up arms or we come for you you want shall you want shall why you declare war on us why did you declare war I would on ask us? this of you Expert leather. That's... Your choice. Nope, I'm not going to give expert leather to them currently because we need it. You will not bend, so you will break. So Wang Lang also have declared war on us. From each according to G. Yep. Yep. Okay, let's see if we can raise an army yet. No, no, no. We still cannot raise any army. So let's have this Taishan before Kong Rong take it. Or I would like to give it to Kong Rong. Kong Rong Dong Rong. So let's have conscription camp here. So conscription con. Conscription camp will give uh, us plus two starting rank for all new recruits. So if you want to have um, experienced army, good army, you should have it. Mm, let's see, you want Shao? Why must we speak? I want to have peace with you. So so so. Can I unify with Yosha? No, no. Let's have Kong Rong help us. Excellent. Talk. Unify with Kong Rong? No, it's not ready yet. Uh... No, we don't want to declare war with him. Why is Wang Lang declaring not war with us? Again. No. Okay, so we we'll, we need to face these three enemies. So let's finish this. Oh, oh, oh! I see Wang Lang's man here. So did they captured any provinces? Good. Good that Kong Rong take the area because it is much closer to Yuan Shao and actually there's nothing much we can do in this turn Goodness, they have okay. This is Bay Yuan Shao. Two arms ready for force march. March with care. We do not have defender in here. We still have. Only one army. A misunderstanding. God damn it. They are attacking us from all the sides. So let's not develop that town first. Let's save some of our money. The only thing that if we can do is if we can have one more army. That would be very very nice. Let's focus on food first, and I believe that we can negotiate this peace with them. Nice. We accept. 
so we have zeroed out one enemy now and how about uh, Yuan Shao you have need of my wisdom yep I need your wisdom So let's offer him food. Let's offer him some ancillaries. Uh, this one is tradable. Wooden dog is also tradable. Hmm. It is not enough. So what if we trade one of our territory? Which is he really wants that Taishan port. If we make payment. How much money? No, 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 no. This is a waste of time. Let them come and attack us. <coughs> I knew it. I knew it. And there is no chance for our men to withstand his army. I will show it to come. I will come back and take those. Ah, such coward! Where is he? Hold on, hold on. What happened? So Tao Chen is dead. And he gives us his land here. Fortune favors the vigilant. Strike true. Consider the path. Why are you run? With all your might. You are the one With who courage. wants to attack us. Can we raise any army yet? No, this is so frustrating. This is so frustrating. We'll have to wait here. Um, let's downgrade the city because we need food. <sighs> one of our town is one by one. Of and Kong Rong has met with, with Yuan Shao, that traitor. I'll make sure I'll finish both of them. Did you run? You wish to attack, right? Come and fight us like a man. But you begat justice. Yon Chao is coming. And the best thing is that this Kong Rong Good to see you. has allies allying themselves with. You and Shao. This is quite a headache for us. 
we have a thread on our backyard and we have cowards in our front yard so what I will do what I will do when I face cowards like this is that I will destroy the nearest cowards first I will surely destroy them uh, ta -ta, there's no need for you again for us to be at war rather that we can have non-aggression uh, can we unify with you? no uh, let's request for payment okay a reasoned proposal and let's make sure that China can be reunited should my plan succeed he is not coming back to us so let's squeeze his money a bit Let's squeeze all of his resources there. Your offer is accepted. So Chao Chao has been All as one. neutralized. Yep, we need this one from you. Let's assign him to the new character. Plus eight. And let's move to the next. I would ask this of you. No. We withdraw it then. Sorry for that, my cat is also at war with each other. Um, Secure loyalty through respect and action. I'm going to beseech you. Forward! Let's continue siege. One hour search, uh, siege engine has been built. Then we can start attacking them. And I promise that I'm going to raise Peng Cheng the ground but since Peng Cheng is a very strategic location I will keep it for now so establishing Liu Bei foothold is quite difficult it's not quite difficult it's very difficult if you are playing in the legendary mode With heaven. If we did okay. but we have more swordsmen. We can scale up their walls, but they have. Let's delegate this. Justice has shown us the. Now we lost more than fifty percent of our men. We'll it will prosper this. for the better. Under my rule. Restore authority. So now we should have. No, we still do not have one more. We need one more army. We do really need one more army. 
where was it I believe that it should be somehow somewhere around here where's our boy Chow Chow China can be reunited should my plan succeed Let's have peace. No non aggression pack with Zhang Chao. Let us talk strategies. Your proposal is sound. Okay, so basically, um, once we captured Peng Cheng, right? We will have secure our western borders and Dong Cha, Dong Hai will secure our southern borders. Lang Ye will be our eastern borders. So I will continue our gameplay video uh, on the next episode. Uh, where we will start dealing with both Kongrong and Yuan Shao to the east. So, yep. Uh, see you again, guys. If you like the video, uh, feel free to subscribe. Uh, I will appreciate your support. Um, I'm still new in YouTube. And I hope you guys have a nice day. Goodbye.